Welcome back to another video and um, before we get started on today's lesson I want to do like a, a little mini lesson just a little concept that I didn't think was really worth its own lesson so one so I have two squares that are equal they're equal in size and shape and they both have been colored the exact same amount but one is divided into tenths and one is divided into a hundredths and so on the left we have four tenths of it have been um, colored in on the right 40 hundredths have been colored in so I have these two cowboys here that are arguing him one saying no four rows are four tenths and that's four tenths as a decimal and no he's the one on the right saying no 40 squares are 40 hundredths and I don't want this to escalate into anything worse than it is but they're both right decimals that name the same amount and so the pictures are showing the same amount are called equivalent decimals and so the only difference is the one on the right has been divided into hundredths they took the tenths divided into ten more pieces each into hundredths the picture has not changed just the way it's divided is, is different so um, so just so you know that there are something called equivalent decimals that can be shown All right today's lesson is on adding decimals and so to start we'll start with tenths and then we'll move into the hundredths but I have a base 10 flat here representing one hole and the, ro the rod on the right represents one tenth. And so here I have some blocks representing two and three tenths. And we write 2.3, but we technically say two and three tenths. So as our story problem today, one weekend Jordan walked his dog two and seven tenths of a kilometer. Um, I guess in normal life we would say 2.7 kilometers. and one and eight tenths of a kilometer, 1.8 kilometers. So maybe Saturday he walked one and Sunday he walked the other. If we were to estimate his total distance, we should find a whole number close to each decimal. So remember, this is not the exact answer first. We're doing an estimate. 2.7 is close to three. That's the nearest whole number. And 1.8 is closest to two as the whole number. So three plus two is five. So we could say he walked approximately five kilometers. But what if we want to find the exact answer? So finding an estimate's good, so we know that we're in the right ballpark. But um, let's find an exact answer. And so we could use base 10 blocks here. So I have 2.7 kilometers. Um, maybe I should rewrite this here. Two, seven tenths of a kilometer, and one and eight tenths of a kilometer. And so using base 10 blocks, we can move things around. So I could bring that over here and I would probably want to make 10 there. Now these 10 circled would make another block. Okay, so what's left over here is five rods. So if we had to add all this together, we got one, two, three, four flats for four and the tenths here being um, five of them, he walked exactly four and a half kilometers now we could we could do this another way we call left to right method so um, I'm gonna write this out again and so in this situation normally we if you see it this way we would add this way but today we're gonna add this way for left to right hence the name left to right so two plus one is three and here I have um, 15 if I add those together however that 15 is tenths so I would have a decimal there so three and one and a half equals four point five or four and a half kilometers so in this way we're adding the whole numbers first and then we add the tenths column together and then we add them all together um, of course the the easiest probably most straightforward most common way is probably Regrouping, so 2.7 and 1.8, add them together. Now what's important is the decimal doesn't change, so I'd always start putting your decimals in right away. They go in a nice line, you can see. So 7 plus 8 is 15. I put the, the, the 5 there, regroup the 
10, so 1 plus 2 plus 3, sorry, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, so simply 4 and a half. I'm going to get you to try one. When Jordan walked his dog on Sunday, it was 22.3 degrees Celsius. When he arrived back home, however, the temperature had risen 5.2 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature when he got home? I'm going to get you to pause it. Come back when you're ready. All right, so I'm personally going to do the regrouping method. Maybe I'll show you the left or right. Um, again, it's important that we line up our digits. The tenths line up, the decimals line up. I'm going to put a decimal there right away. Um, so for our regrouping, 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. And our 2, actually we didn't have to regroup at all. So the answer here is it was 27.5 degrees Celsius when you got home. If I was to do the left to right method, I add all the whole numbers first. 22 plus 5 is 27. Then I'd add the tenths. I'd get so, add them together. Now let's talk about hundredths now. And we're going to look at money as a way of exploring hundredths. And so money uses base 10 with tenths and hundredths. So um, in Canada, we have loonies, as we call them, because there's a picture of a loon on it. Um, it's a dollar. And you notice it's one whole. And there's no, you know, the, the decimal places are zeros. Uh, a dime is 10 cents, and so those are in tenths. And then a penny, which is discontinued in Canada, but you can still find them occasionally, is one cent or one hundredth of a dollar. And so here I have kind of a place value chart that I put together. I have two whole dollars. I have one, two, three, four, five dimes, and I have four pennies. And so if I was to put the decimal here, you can see the decimal here. So the amount of money here is $2.54. All right, let's say Jamie bought a toy dinosaur for $3.49 and a toy water gun for $2.99. How much did Jamie spend altogether? We can use something called a place value chart. And so here I have $3.48. I've kind of divided it all up into their places. I mean, yes, you could use different coins, but for our purposes, remember dimes are tenths and pennies are hundredths. So we're gonna go with that. And then we have the $2.99. And so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm going to be, well, I know I have nine pennies in this top box and I'm gonna circle an extra one to make a 10. And that would make an extra dime. That leaves me with eight down below here. So then I'm going to count up um, all my dimes. I have nine down here. Maybe I'll borrow one of these guys. That makes a dollar. So I'll extra, extra loony there. I'm left with one, two, three, four. So I'm going to put a four there to remind myself. And then here I have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars. So in the end, there is six dollars and 48 cents. And so that's how much Jamie spent all together. Six dollars and 48 cents. Uh, of course, we can do the regrouping method, um, $3.49 plus $2.99, our units in, and right away, I'm going to remember to put my decimal place in, that's important. My hundreds line up, my tenths line up, my, my whole numbers line up. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 9 is 14. There you the one. One plus three plus two is six, so six dollars and forty-eight cents. I'm gonna get you to try one. Alice went to the grocery store to buy a couple items for her mother. She needed to buy bread and milk. How much money will she spend? So she needs some milk and some bread. I'm gonna get you to pause that and try that when you're ready. Now you're probably wondering why do I have baked beans and peppers there? I don't know, I just thought maybe more confusing. Numbers would be great, so we're identifying milk and bread, so um, I'm going to use the regrouping method here. $3.65 plus the bread, which is $0.99, cents, not a whole dollar. Let's still put a dollar sign though. This is a, sorry my board's a little messed up here. I'm going to put my decimal place in there right away. I can make sure my all my place values are lined up, so 5 plus 9 is 14. Here the one, one plus six is seven, seven plus nine is 16. 
There's a one, and then I have one and a three, which is four. So all together, Jamie will spend four dollars and sixty-four cents. All right, everyone. So in this lesson, we looked at adding tenths and decimals to the variety of methods, base ten blocks, objects like money, and regrouping in this left to right strategy. Um, so you can see we have some real world examples here with money. Money always uses two decimal places, which go to the hundredths place. So it is kind of important to know how to add with decimals. So guys, please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.